hearing okay okay yeah uh, okay so let's start welcome to bhakti sangha japa group madhava class so we are uh, doing the important shlokas of bhagavad gita trying to understand through the examples so let's start with prayers let me see who are all there hasini shreya varun Let's see who's the last one. Vikyat and Prahlad. Okay, so we can start. So let's do the prayers. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnana Jana Shalakaya Takshurun Militam Nina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Omishnu Padaya Krishna Preshtaya Purakutale Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Nitina Mili Namaste Shashwate Deve Gauravani Charini Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarini Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrindam So can we say the Hare Krishna Mahamantra? Chant it for 21 times, uh, praying for everyone. Uh, who, the whole world is suffering with COVID. So we can uh, chant the holy names of the Lord and pray that all of us realize the value of following the Lord's instructions. And we don't hurt the animals, don't hurt, hurt the planet. And we be blessed with the Lord's mercy. Is that okay? Can everyone, uh, okay, who wants to chant unmute and everybody else will be chanting on mute? Mataji, can Prahlad chant? Okay, Prahlad, 21 times slowly. Okay, and everyone else will follow Prahlad and you can mute uh, your uh, voices so that uh, we can all follow the Maha Mantra, hear it clearly and chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राबा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री प्रसाद दैट वाज वेरी वेरी नाइस प्रहलाद थैंक यू वेरी मच आई होप एवरीवन आल्सो चैंटेड डिड एवरीवन आल्सो चैंट यस माता जी यस माता जी थैंक यू श्रेया विक्या धासनी फॉर चैंटिंग okay so um we are in which chapter today 12 devotional service yes devotional service so we are going to um chant the verses from the 12th chapter that we learned so far so who want to chant so we are who are is chanting the verse be ready with the translation also so after saying the verse you'll say the translation also okay so who wants to go first 12.1 anyone wants to chant 12.1 amata ji vanki yes varun go ahead Okay, at twelve point twelve. Twelve point one, first verse of the twelfth chapter. Twelve point one. Okay. Um. Twelve point one. Okay. Uh, but what is it? I keep forgetting. Arjuna vacha evam satta yuktam. अर्जुन the unmanifested thank you varun so 12th chapter begins with a question from arjuna arjuna is asking who is better the one who worships the personal form of the lord or one who worship his impersonal aspect so let's see what krishna answers for this Hello, question it is 12.2 this is prakrit can i see 12.2 okay मयाशमोयेमाचाशिपर्सनालीफेक्टरफेट Yes. So, what is Arjuna uh, Krishna answering to Arjuna's question? That impersonal form is the uh, worship of the impersonal form is the best, right? Yes, Mataji. No. Really? No. No. Is is uh, Krishna answering that worship of the impersonal form is the best? No. No. 
what is he answering? The personal form is the best. Yes. Very clearly, he's answering that worshipping his personal form is the best. Then in 12.5, he says, what's the problem with the impersonal worship? Who can say the shloka and the translation? Hi, Vishnu. Hi, uh, Yeah, Aditya? Okay, Mataji. Klesho adhika zaraste sham avyatta shakta cheta saap avyatta higa jir dukkam deha vadde ravapyate. The translation is, for those whose minds are attached, to the unmanifested, impersonal feature of the Supreme. Advancement is very troublesome. To make progress in that discipline is always difficult for those who are embodied. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you, Aditya. So Krishna is saying that making advancement in the impersonal form of worship is uh, in the path is very troublesome. Okay. <clears throat> if Krishna says it's troublesome, then do we want to try that path? No. no. No, right? Okay. Okay, so then he comes to say that how to worship his personal form. And first he says, what is the best way, the pure devotee, how, what he does? That's 12.8. Two participants have raised in their hands. Hasani, do you want to say that shloka? Yes, ma'am. Mayeva mana datva may buddhim niveshaya nivasisha su mayeva ata utra. Just Very fix good. your mind upon me, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and engage all your intelligence in me. Thus, you will live in me always without doubt. Thank you, Hasani. Very good. So, Krishna is saying we need to fix our hands and face on him, right? What are the two no. things? No, Mataji, mind and intelligence. Very good. You're all awake, right? Krishna is asking mind and intelligence. That's not easy. But then not all of us may be able to do that, completely fix our mind and intelligence. So Krishna says, okay, you're not there anymore. Does he say that or does he, get, does he say something? He, that gives he, gives, he gives us another way. Yes, that is 12.9. Who wants to do that, Shreya? Yes, Mataji. Athachittam samadhatum na shakno shimai sthiram abhyasa yogi na tato maamichhaptum dhananjaya. My dear Arjuna, O oh winner of wealth, if you cannot fix your mind upon me without deviation, then follow the regulative principles of Bhakti Yoga. In this way, de develop a desire to attain me. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Shreya. So, <clears throat> Krishna is telling, if you cannot fix your mind and intelligence on me, follow the regulative principles. So, we have to follow the regulative principles to do what? To attain what? What is the goal of following the regulative principles? Supreme personality of God. In yeah, that is the ultimate goal. But what is the next step? What is the immediate goal? Um, From the translation of this more, verse. We can go more in Krishna consciousness. You that is true. A, you develop an, a desire to attain him. Perfect. Right. So when we are doing Vaidhi Bhakti or do, uh, doing, following the regulatory principles and chanting, what is our goal? We should develop a desire to attain him. Because if we develop that desire, then we will be able to fix our mind and intelligence on Krishna very easily. So that is the goal. Okay. So for some people who are not able to do that, what's he saying we can do in 12.10? Can I share my teacher? Yes, we can. Wait, one second. Is it? Um, Abhyase Pyasa Maritoshi, Mat Karma Paramo Bhava, Madar Tham Api Karmani, Gurvan Siddhimalapsyasi. Very good. Um, if you can't do the regulations of Pati Yoga, you try to work for Krishna. 
and by working for him, you can attain the perfect stage. Very good, very good, okay. So that's what the verses we have read so far, and then we need to do 13, 14. But I want you to read also 11 and 12 uh, before. Uh, let me check one minute. Before we read, go to today's verse, we will see the connection of today's verse. Sorry? You are presenting anything, Matthew? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to go to, I, I wanted that we read the two verses that we are not going to memorize just to see the link so that we know the link what we are learning today and how is Krishna coming to this shloka. So let's go. I was trying to. Now, let me share my screen. So we read till chapter, uh, text 10, right? So he's saying that if you cannot practice the regulations of Bhakti Yoga, then just try to work for me because by working for me, you will come to the perfect stage. Okay, who wants to read text 11? Can we can Yes, we can. If, however, you are unable to work in this consciousness of me, then try to act giving up all results of your work and try to be self-situated. Okay, so did you see here? So he's telling, he's giving the step four down. If you cannot practice the regulations of Bhakti Yoga, you are unable to work in that consciousness, then you work for me. If you cannot work for me, at least give up the results of your activities. That means try to do something selfless. If everything in this world we do only for ourselves, then that causes bondage again and again. So he's telling, if you cannot work for me, but at least try to work for others not putting yourself in the center. So that's what he's saying. And then if we cannot even practice that, he gives another last option in text 12. Who wants to read this? Can Shreya? Yes, Shreya. If you cannot take to this practice, then engage yourself in the cultivation of knowledge. Better than knowledge, however, is meditation. And better than meditation is the renunciation of fruits of the of action. For by such renunciation, one can attain peace of mind. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Shreya. So he's saying that if you cannot do anything, we are not able to work for others also because of the lack of knowledge. Because we think that we are the we are the center, and of uh, we, we remain so self-centered. And after many 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 lifetimes of self-centered activities, then we get frustrated, and then we want to try to engage ourselves in other service. But for that, we need knowledge. So he's saying, if you cannot even do work for others, then engage in cultivation of knowledge. But better than knowledge is meditation and better than meditation is renunciation of the fruits of action. Finally, do something because only by renunciation we can attain peace of mind. So in this, he completes the steps that if you cannot do this, do this. If you cannot do this, do this. So with that, he completes. And then text 13 to text 20. Only this, this chapter has only 20 shlokas is Krishna saying who is very dear to him. If you see each and every verse, he's saying very dear to me, very dear to me. It ends us saying very dear to me. So this is the essence of all the Bhakti Yoga. So if we want to become dear to Krishna, how many of you want to become dear to Krishna? We do. I do. Right? Me. So let's 
let's see what krishna says how one can become dear to him so he starts off with this uh you able to see my screen yes yes my teacher okay so let's learn these two verses today and Yes, so I see Lakshmi. Yes, I see Lakshmi Priya. Welcome, Lakshmi Priya. I don't know if this is your first class. Yes, it is. Hari, yes, it is. Okay, so we got a friend. So let's all welcome her by saying three times Hari Bol. Everyone ready? Hari Bol. Thank you for joining us, Lakshmi Priya. So we are doing this every Monday. Uh, this is called Madhava class for uh, age group eleven and above. You're welcome to join. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, let's recite this verse. Sorry. Can I say both of these? Wait, Prahlad. Please wait your turn. I'm just going to recite this first, and then let the students learn it. Who they who, who don't know these verses, then we can recite. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So let's recite this. Repeat after me. Advesta. Advesta. Sarva Bhuta Nam. Advesta Sarva Bhuta Nam 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 Maitra Maitra Karuna Evacha Karuna Evacha Maitra Karuna Evacha Maitra Karuna Evacha Maitra Karuna Evacha Maitra Karuna Evacha Nirmamo Nirmamo. Why only Hasan is repeating? I'm not hearing others. Nirahankaraha. Nirahankaraha. Nirmamo Nirahankaraha. Nirmamo Nirahankaraha. Nirmamo Nirahankaraha Samadukka Samadukka Sukakshami Sukakshami Samadukka Sukakshami Samadukka Sukha Shami Samadukka Sukha Shami Samadukka Sukha Shami Okay, let's do this sloka again, line by line. Advesta Sarva Bhuta Nam Advesta Sarva Bhuta Nam Maitra Karuna Evacha Maitra Karuna Evacha Nirma Monira Hankaraha Nirma Monira Hankaraha Samadukha Sukakshami Samadukha Sukakshami Santushta Sadatam yogi, 
Santushta Satatam Yogi. Santushta Satatam Yogi. Yatatma. Yatatma. Dredanis Chayaha. Dredanis Chayaha. Yatatma. Dredanis Chayaha. Yatatma. Dredanis Chayaha. Mayar Pita Mayar Pita Mayar Pita Mano Buddir Mano Buddir Mayar Pita Mano Buddir Mayar Pita Mayar Pita Mano Buddir Mayar Pita Mano Buddir Yo Mad Bakta Yomad Bhakta Same Priyaha Yomad Bhakta Same Priyaha Okay, the next sloka I am again repeating. Santushta Satatam Yogi Santushta Satatam Yogi Yatma Drida Nishayaha Yatma Mayar Pitamano Buddir Mayar Pitamano Buddir Yomad Bhakta Same Priyaha Yomad Bhakta Same Priyaha Okay, now who wants to recite the first verse? Adveshta. Yeah, yeah. Varun also, but but Hasini, I saw her raised hand. Can Hasini go first and then Varun? But no problem. I can go second verse. Okay. Okay, Varun, go ahead. Advesta Sarvabhuta Namaitra Karuna Evaja Nirmamoni Nahankara Samadukha Sukakshami Thank you, Varun. Hasini? Santushta Satadam Yogi Yatat Madhra Nishayaha Mayar Pitamano Buddha Yomad Bhatta Samethiya Very good. Prahla, do you want to recite? Advesta Sarvabhuta Namaitra Karuna Evaja Thank you, Prahlad. Who wants to say that? Thank you, Prahlad. Who wants to say Thank you. Who else wants to chant? Can I, Mataji? Yes, Vikya. Advesta Sarva Bhutanam. My. Maitraha Karuna Evacha Nirmamo Nirahankaraha Samadukha Sukhakshani Santushtaha Satatam Yogi Yatatma Dradhanishtayaha Mayar Pitamano Buddhir Yomad Bhaktaha Samepriyaha Perfect Vikya, thank you. So let's now play the synonyms game. I'm going to tell the English and you, let me see who first tells the Sanskrit. My devotee. Madhak, Madhakta. Yes, Madhakta, very good, engaged. Arpita. Good job, Hasni. Always. Satatam. Satatam. Good job. Hasni Prahlad. Good job. Okay. Toward all living entities. Good job, Lakshmi Priya. Kindly. Um, uh, Karuna. 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 Good job. Self controlled. Um, Yatatma. Yatatma. Very good. One engaged in devotion. 
not engaged in devotion or one yogi day. yogi yogi good job prahlad yogi okay. yes yogi uh, in distress dukha dukha good job hasini shreya okay uh, non envious uh, advesta advesta hasini you are very fast good job with no sense of proprietorship nirmaha nirmamo good job hasini prahlad vikyan okay uh, dear priya 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 good job vikyan okay equal sama 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 shreya vikyan also good job vikyan intelligence buddhi buddhi good job vikyan okay with determination dridha nishtha dridha nishtha upon me mm. oh no mai 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 shreya good job shreya okay uh, one who yah 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 okay forgiving shami 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 happiness happiness sukha sukha good job hasini shreya okay a uh, satisfied santushta santushta good job hasini shreya okay santushta okay let's go line by line meaning advesta sarva bhutanam advesta non envious of everyone living in the non envious for everyone non envious and friendly toward all living entities that's a, even uh, i mean you just try to make a, a meaningful sentence out of the words okay maitra karuna evacha um friendly uh, kindly certainly, certainly also certainly friendly kindly also okay certainly friend Uh, okay kindly is, okay kind no okay uh, nirmamo nirahankarah he has no sense of proprietorship no and no false ego without false ego good job well sama dukha sukha kshami you look at everyone and the uh, happiness forgiving yes so he's equal and happiness distress and he forgives okay santushtah satatam yogi satisfied always one engaged in devotion self satisfied always one and one in devotion okay uh mate do we uh huh uh do we like create a sentence or just say the synonyms no you have to create a sentence uh okay. i mean you don't put words in between but just rearrange word like a word scrambling Okay. Yet sometimes it doesn't make a meaning because you need to take the next line also into consideration. But that's okay. This is how we learn the verses, word by word meaning, and then line by line meaning. Then we know the verse intact with the meaning. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we were verse. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, that. Ma, Drida Nishchaya. Self control, with determination and self control. Okay, my arpita mano buddhi. He engaged um, his mind upon him. His mind and intelligence fixed on me. Very good. Mind and intelligence fixed on me. Very good. Yo mat bhakta samay priya ha. That devotee. That devotee. Yes, he is dear to me. So he is saying that. Okay, Lakshmi Priya, do you want to read the translation? Okay. One who is not envious, but is a but is a kind friend to all living entities, who does not think himself a proprietor, and is free from false ego, who is equal in both happiness and distress, who is tolerant, always satisfied, self-controlled, and engaged in. You're not able to see. No, Masuji. Oh. Can you scroll down, please? Oh, let me. 
Yes, Mata G, I can't see too. Okay, so I, I think rest. we will go to the slide. Uh, something wrong with this. Uh, that's why. Now, are you able to see? Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Um, okay. Engaged in devotional service with determination, his mind and intelligence fixed on me. Such a devotee of mine is very dear to me. Can you go back? Because I think it's a little bit cut out. Yeah, how about it now? Yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay. So count how many things he's saying about the devotee. The number. I want the number. I think I counted I eight. Got, I got ten. Eight. Not eight. I don't know how I got 10. Maybe you're right. Okay, yeah, let's... Nine. Okay, nine. Nine. okay let, nine. let's just count together. One who's not envious, that's number one. Is a kind friend to all living entities, number two. One who does not think himself a proprietor, three. Free from false ego, four. Who's equal in both happiness and distress, five. Who's tolerant, six. Always satisfied, seven. Self-controlled, eight. Engaged in devotion service with determination, nine. His mind and intelligence fixed on me, ten. So, Vikyat, you're right. Such Thank a you, devotee you. of mine, he's saying, is very dear, dear. to me. So, mm -hmm. can, we all, can we all try to do these ten things? Super hard, Mother. Yes. You're right. Let's try. Uh, I agree, Vikyat. It's super hard. But then we have always have examples who have done that. So let's see those examples. So remember this. It will it will come in the Kahoot. For example, who's what is non-enviousness? What is friendly? What is kind? What's without false ego? Some things like this. So how this person is a kind friend to all living entities, tolerant, always satisfied, self-controlled, engaged in devotional service with determination. His mind and intelligence fixed on me. So Krishna is telling this and let's see what Shila Prabhupada says in the purport. Sorry about it. Okay. So who wants to read this? The first paragraph, first three lines. Can, can, I can, 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 can Varun read it? Yeah, Varun, can you read? Okay. A pure devotee is never disturbed in any circumstances, nor is he envious of anyone, nor does a devotee become his enemy's enemy. Very good. So you see, he's not envious of anyone. The word enemy comes from the root word envy. What do, you, what do you mean by being envious of someone? It's worse Kinda than like jealousy. Being jealousy. It just um, like it like, just like wants something which they have. Like it's like it's, kind of jealousy. It's Very jealousy good. with enmity. Jealousy with enmity, right? So you want something that they have or uh, you don't want them to have what they have. See, like this, right? So, but then a devotee is not envious of anyone. So what if someone is envious of a devotee and he, they, the, and the, the someone gives the devotee a trouble? They tolerate. He tolerates. You see, he does not become his enemy's enemy. Some person can may, may think that I am this person's enemy, but a pure devotee does not think that he is my enemy. 
So you see these five Pandavas, who were who treated the five Pandavas as their enemies? Kauravas. 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 Kauravas were headed by Duryodhana. Duryodhana. Okay, but did the Pandavas consider Duryodhana as the enemy? No. no. No, they considered him as a brother. How do you know that? Because Arjuna, um, he said, he, um, he even though um the things that Duryodhana had done to the um Pandavas, like poisoning Bhima and all of that, Arjuna, he still didn't want to kill um uh, the Kauravas. No, Very because of the Chitra saying Gandharva's story, because but Martin is considered the Kauravas as uh, brothers and enemies also. They considered Kauravas as brothers and enemies also. Yes. No. How but, do you say uh, that? Um, I was saying because when Draupadi, uh, when uh, Duryodhana, not Duryodhana, um, Dushasana? I, I don't think his brother's name, I'm not getting his brother's Dushasana? name. Dushasana? Dushasana. Yes, when Dushasana did uh, Draupadi Vastrabharna, then what happened means uh, they challenged Kauravas that they will defeat them. So that's what I'm saying. They Very considered good. him as enemies also. <laughs> that's a good point, Hasani. But the point was that time they had done so much atrocious thing, right? Even now, like if you have a sister or, you know, somebody who's respectable and then if someone else is trying to take her off, take her clothes off, how angry you'll be because yes. you want to protect so because they did that very mean thing to Draupadi and that's why they said that, that, you know, I will uh, take revenge on you like this. And But actually, there are many instances where uh, the Pandavas was proved that uh, they did not consider them as enemies, just like Varun. Varun said, right, so when even with all of this, Duryodhan, it does, uh, I mean, Arjuna, when he decided not to fight, it's not that he forgot all these things. But still, although he remembered all these things, he was considering them as brothers. So that's why he didn't want to fight. He, he didn't want to fight, not because he was not brave, but he didn't want to kill them. And he said that, what is the use of the kingdom? When I'm going to kill them. You see? So this was after the vows that they have taken. So the vows was to protect Draupati, to revolt against an offense against a devotee. Right? But when it really came, they did not consider them as enemies. So one more, uh, who can say, another proof that they did not consider Kauravas as enemies. Prahalad, you said something? Yeah, when like Chitrasen and Gandharva's story, like yeah. when uh he, when Bhima like, he said that like they can suffer, but uh Ayudhishra asked Arjuna to help the Kauravas and he treated them like brothers. Very good. Can you tell the story quickly? <laughs> Oh, okay. So, like, once, uh, like, Duryodhana, he went, he, he was, like, he wanted to, like, uh, like, make fun of the Pandavas because he had so much more wealth than them and more riches than them. So, he went to the place, but on the way, he had a fight with the Gandharvas, uh, and they, the Gandharvas kill, like, like took captive all the like all Duryodhana and all all everyone and uh, only Karna like escaped uh but every and he like ran away but everyone got like trapped like uh trapped and then like some of the Karavas lived so they went to the Pandavas who were staying nearby and asked them to help Duryodhana and and the Karavas and uh, the Pandavas and but then Bhima said he like they deserve it because they like they they had done all that stuff but uh, uh, like Yudhishthira said that 
no, we should help them because they're like our brothers. So he uh, asked Arjuna to like, like help them and like uh, help them. Yeah. So when then he fought with the Gandharvas and then the Gandharvas came for peace. So then he came for peace and then they, he said that because I knew they were coming. So he like, he wanted to like, not let them uh, hurt you. But she said, he said, Arjuna said still he should, they should be free. So they freed like the Karva. Very good. Thank you, Prala. That was a beautiful story. So this happened That's when it. the Pandavas was in the Vanavas. And they were in the forest. They didn't have anything. But Duryodhan located where they were. And he wanted to go and flaunt before them with the queens. He got permission from Dhritarashtra Dur telling that I'm going for a picnic. And that's when this happened. That Duryodhana was almost killed. But because of Arjuna's mercy, Arjuna requested the Gandharva to release the Dur Duryodhana. And that was ordered by Yudhishthira. Yudhishthira said, they may be hundred and we are five, but with when an, when there is when any one of us in danger, we are hundred and five brothers. That's what Yudhishthira said, right? Okay, so let's yeah. read this sloka. That tenu kampam susamikshamano bunja na yevatmagratam. Pipakam Kritvagva Purbir Vidadan Namaste Jiveta Yomuti Pade Sadaya Bhak. Who wants to read the translation? Yes, yes, Prahla, you read. My dear Lord, one who one who earnest, earnestly waits for you to bestow your causeless mercy upon him. All the while patiently suffering the reaction of his past misdeeds and offering you respectful obeisances with his heart, words, and body. It is it is is, is so surely eligible for liberation, for it has become his rightful claim. Yeah, so a pure devotee is like this that they patiently suffer whatever the suffering that they have to undergo, but then at all the times they never uh, ask Krishna, why did you put this in suffering? Because they're always offering respectful obeisances with their heart and such a person is fit for liberation. Okay, Vikyat, do you want to read this? Sure, Mataji. Whenever, whenever a devotee is in distress or has fallen into difficulty, he thinks that it is the Lord's mercy upon him. He thinks, thanks to my past misdeeds, I should suffer far, far greater than I am suffering now. So it is by the mercy of the Supreme Lord that I'm not getting all the punishment I am due. I am just getting a little by the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, he is always calm, quiet, and patient, despite many distressful conditions. Thank you, Vikya. So normally, when there is a suffering, we think that, oh, Krishna, why the suffering for me? Oh, why me? Why I have to suffer like this, right? But a pure devotee, what he thinks? Krishna, you are so merciful on me. Because of your mercy, I'm suffering a little bit. Not so much. Actually, I should suffer much, much more. That's what I deserve. But then because you're merciful, I'm getting only a little yeah. punishment. So because of this, they are calm, quiet, and patient. So who's that person who... Who's that person, a devotee, who's, whom you see in this picture? Kunti Devi. Kunti Devi. Yes. What did Kunti Devi pray to Krishna? I want more suffering. Why? So she can see Krishna more. So, so does that mean that if we are suffering, we will see Krishna more? No. It, okay, well, in what context he, she said that? Um, whenever there was suffering, Krishna appeared to help her. So that's... 
Very good, Vikya. See, this place, Krishna is getting ready to go to Dwaraka from Hastinapura, right? After making, when, when the war was over, when Yudhishthira was, became the king, and then Kunti Devi is telling this prayers, Oh, Krishna, when we had lots of troubles, you were with us. Now you're going because trouble seemed, there, were, there, are, there seemed to be no troubles for us now. You're going. But when we are troubled, you were with us. So let the troubles come so that you'll be with us. You see how much suffering Kunti Devi underwent. It's not that he's, she's asking suffering and we have to ask suffering. But she's telling that I want you to be with us, Krishna, always. It doesn't matter if I am suffering. So that is the mentality of a pure devotee because they understand that they understand Krishna, I need to suffer much, much more because of your mercy, I'm getting little. You see, if we are thinking like this, if we if you're able to follow this, then we'll be very calm, quiet, and patient. So we should pray to Kunti Devi, please, by your mercy, let me follow it. So there was another devotee like that. Who knows the story of the first picture? Raise your hands. Shreya. Okay. Do you want to quickly say Shreya? What is the story of the first picture? Um, I'm not sure if it's right, but is it um Shishupal's story? No, no, it's not Shishupal. Chitra Ketu, uh, right? Chitra Ketu, yes, Chitra Ketu, yes. Who wants to say? Yes. Um, so one time Chitra Ketu Maharaj, he wanted a son, but he couldn't have it. So um, someone blessed him with a child, I think. And so that one child, he gave so much love to him that the mother of that child was super happy, but the other wives, the queens, um, were super unhappy with that one, the child. So he got super attached to the child and the, the, the queens poisoned the child and he died. And Chitraketu Maharaj, he was super sad in Narada Muni, I think, like... Very good. I don't... Uh, yes. Yeah, that's... Narada Muni and Angira Muni. Thank you, Vikya. So can you imagine the child that Chitraketu Maharaj got after so long and then the child is dead and then everyone is crying. What is this? How can the child die? He is a source of our happiness and they're feeling very, very bad. Those who poisoned also, they're feeling bad. And at that time, Narada Muni and Angira Muni come and then they say that by Narada Muni's mercy, he brings back the soul inside the child's body and the child get up, gets up. So when the child gets up, the mother and the father, Chitraketu, goes to hug him. But the child asks them, who are you? I don't remember you. Which life's parents are you? I've, I have undergone so many lives. So I don't know which life's parents are you. And then this is my onward journey. Let me go. Because I'm not this body. And I'm continuing my journey according to my karma. So when the child spoke this, everyone was stunned. And then Chitraketu Maharaj especially realized how this, uh, you know, the material world is very temporary. And he started practicing devotion and yoga. And he, he started worshipping Lord Sankarchan. And he became a very wonderful devotee that he was going in an airplane all around the universe. So when he was going, he was passing by Kailash. So he saw Lord Shiva holding Mother Parvati in his lap. So she, he uh, made a like a joking comment on Lord Shiva that how he is holding the mother on his lap in front of all the sages. This was like a passing remark on a senior person. Lord Shiva understood that uh, he was telling it as a joke, but Mother Parvati 
said that this is very offensive. How can he say that? So she cursed him to become a demon. So when she cursed him, Chitraketu accepted it. Chitraketu did not counter question or counter curse. That's the quality of a devotee. And he accepted this. Yes, mother, you have given me something, so I will take it up. I'm very sorry. So he became a demon in the next life called Vritrasura. So Vritrasura um, was in the fighting the demigods uh, headed by Indra. You can see Indra's elephant in Indra, how small they are and how huge Vritrasura is. Vritrasura was so huge that even the demigods were very, very scared. Then finally, Indra threw the thunderbolt on Vritrasura. But even at that point of death, Vritrasura was so enthusiastic. He said, Indra, kill me. And he was, he was not disturbed. He was in a demon body, but he was talking like a devotee. Then Indra asked, who is this? How can he talk like this at this point of time when he's about to die? He's not disturbed and he's completely taking shelter of the Lord. Who is this? Then comes the previous story of Vritrasura. So Vritrasura was Chitraketu in the previous life and he got cursed. So we can see that how Vritrasura was also, he spoke, he said, he told that I deserve this from for, for what I did. And he took the curse upon himself. But even when he became a, went into a demoniac life, he remained a devotee. That's why whatever we are reading now, we are chanting, we are doing prayers of the Lord, that never goes in vain. It com comes with us, life after life. So that's what we learned from, he was a glorious devotee. Indra himself was very surprised. He was telling Indra, kill me, kill me. Is not at all worried. Okay, so let's see what's the next quality of a Manji, devotee. Yes, go ahead. Vasudev Leopard. Nirmama means that a devotee does not attach much importance to the pains and trouble pertaining to the body because he knows perfectly well that he is not the material body. He does not identify with the body. Therefore, he is freed from the, the conception of false ego and equipoise in happiness and distress. He is tolerant and he is satisfied with whatever comes by the grace of the Supreme Lord. Yeah, you see, what does Nirmama means? No false ego. No false ego. Yes, very good. So Vasudeva leper, that he, he was a very great devotee of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he got a disease called leprosy, means the skin and all the parts of the body is oozing blood and pus, and it emits a bad aroma. And worms are coming and sitting on that and eating him and he's feeling so painful. But what he does when a worm falls down, he thinks that, oh, this worm has fallen down from my body where, where it will eat, where it will go to eat. So he takes the worm and puts back, let it eat me, my soul. So that was his level. It's completely free. This is my body. This is pain. This is hurting me. So he came late to see uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But what when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was feeling, oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I didn't see you and you passed this place. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared there again and he embraced him. So when Ch nobody would come near him because he was getting giving out such bad smell. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraced him. As soon as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraced, all his leprosy went off. You see, his body became completely rejuvenated and youthful again with no signs of any disease. So that is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that let me not become proud at all that you have cured me like this. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, if you keep chanting Hare Krishna, 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे देन यू विल नॉट बी बिकम प्राउड सो ही वॉज टॉलर एंड एंड ही वॉज सैटिस्फाइड then there was another past time shri was pandit so in shri was thakur's house who is shri was pandit shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadara shri was adikar ah shri was adi adi means beginning with so shri was thakur otherwise called as shri was pandit uh, his house was the place of kirtan for chaitanya mahaprabhu so he chaitanya mahaprabhu was dancing in kirtan and very ecstatic and everybody is jumping and dancing and then the ladies inside when they were cooking what happened shivas thakur's son fell into the one of the cooking pots and he passed away so the ladies were crying and the son is gone suddenly hearing the shivas pandit comes inside he says what's the commotion what's the commotion when chaitanya mahaprabhu is dancing how can we disturb him then they are telling him that your son has passed away he says that please don't cry aloud i don't want to disturb chaitanya mahaprabhu's ecstasy in any way you see that was his thing he he uh, always he was he was not he was completely wanted to satisfy the lord he even if it is own his own son's death which is very very sorrowful he didn't want to tell that and stop the lord's dancing stop the lord's kirtan then chaitanya mahaprabhu came to know and then he said why didn't you tell me shrivas so then the story continues like that but the point is shrivas thakur was such a ardent devotee of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu he is always fixed in his service than anything else so that is the standard of pure devotional service as vikyat said it is very hard but we see all these examples and we think how can i achieve it can i also achieve it let's see what is it? can anyone read this not any varun can Yes, Varun. Such a standard of devotional service is undoubtedly very rare, but a devotee becomes situated in that state by following the regulative principles of devotional service. Very good, Varun. So, what should we be doing to attain that stage? Can you repeat the question, Madam? What we should do to become like a pure devotee, like what we saw. We should quality. surrender. We should get a bona fide spiritual master, and we should um do everything that spiritual master says. We should always uh worship Krishna and do a chanting and stuff. Very good. Yes, Varun. So basically, we should follow the what is regulatory principles of devotion. ah regulative principles of devotional service one of the most important regulative principle of devotional service is chanting accepting a spiritual master and then see acting by his order and chanting right so that is the regulative principle so if we keep doing it day by day without fail for example if prahlad has promised to chant four rounds he should be fixed in chanting four rounds no matter what whether some that day you can or you cannot no first importance is to be given for chanting of the holy names if you are chanting four rounds if you are chanting two rounds if you are chanting one round that is the primary activity of the day and if you do it every single day without fail then slowly and slowly we can also come to that stage of devotional service okay so this we will memorize this verse do you want the kahoot yay yes yes yes, yes. okay yay yes the kahoot
Monty, you're not sharing the game pin. Yeah, one minute. I'm just uh, opening up. Computer is a little slow. Mataji, are you sharing the screen? I don't see it. Okay, let me share the screen first. So the pin is 1870733. Oh, it's 9.26, my God, it's late. 1870733. So we have Aditya R, Aditya K. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. One second, Thank I'm joining. Okay. So we have only 10 people today who's, because of, who, I think, long weekend in the US. Who's, uh, who's that smiley face? Who's a smiley face? Okay, everyone in? Can we start? Yes, I'm in. Yes, okay. I'm in. Let's start. Be ready. Multi select. Complete the shloka. Abhyase, Pyasa, Marto, Si. This is the last week's shloka. Yes, it is Abhyase Pyasa Marto Si Matkarma Paramo Bhava Madartam Abhikarmani Kurvan Siddhim Mavapsyasi Aditya Ryajiv, Aditya Kasturi, Winner Prey, Varun the Carrot, and Hasani Gopal. Okay, let's go to the next question. Queen Dash was very tolerant. Very easy question. All eight of you got it right. That's wonderful. It's Queen Kunti and the scoreboard remains the same. Good job. Vasudev Leper was free from. Actually, you need to pick one thing which is which was written in the slide, although there may be other right answers. Six of you got it right. He was in distress. It's not that he was not painting, but he did not consider that this is my body. So he was tolerant of the pain. And so he did not have the false ego. Varun the carrot has come up. Highest answer streak of three. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Fourth question. A devotee becomes his enemy's enemy. So 
Seven of you got it right. So a devotee, what's the right answer? If this question has to be true, what should be the sentence? But Ma Mataji, I accidentally picked true. I was clicking my trackpad, but then I accidentally picked the blue. Oh, oh, that's an accident. Oh my God. Okay, so a devotee does not become his enemy's enemy, right? So it's a little tricky. Okay, a smiley face has come. In and then we have Varun the carrot. Yes, let's go to the next question. Multi select again. A devotee does not identify with the. Yes, that's right. A devotee does not identify with the material body and the mind. He doesn't say whatever the mind does. Good job. Aditya K is the highest answer streak of five. Smiley is in the fourth place. Very good. Let's go to the next question. Srivast Thakur was dash in happiness and distress. That's one of the characteristic of the devotee that Krishna says. Seven of you got it right. Yes, it's equipoise. Equipoise, but it got wrong for me. Is it? Yes. How come it's equipoise is the right answer? I picked it up. Okay, Aditya has a streak with six correct answers. Good job. Okay, so equipoise. He was not affected. Sheila Prabhupada was fixed in following. Read the answers correctly. It's a little tricky. It's wonderful. Oh. It is true that he was fixed in regulative principles. He was distributing prasadam. He was distributing mercy. But if you want to pick one answer that's all inclusive of all, that oh is, he is fixed in his spiritual master's instruction. Because Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur asked him, you do this, you distribute books, you go to the West and preach, he tried. And you know what? It's not. Do you think it was easy for Srila Prabhupada at that age to come here, to come to the West? No. Um, no. How, how did he do that then? You know what he said? With the, with the mercy of Krishna. Very good, Varun. And also, he said, I, would, I didn't think whether it was possible or not. I wanted to try. Anyways, I wanted to try. So that was his mood. Because if he had considered it, okay, Vasudev Leper was free from... Oh, this Wait, Mataji, was... this question was earlier, right? I know. How was it repeated? I'm going to question it. <laughs> Everyone would get it right. Yeah. What? Oh, so one person has got it wrong by oh, accident. You, you know the answer. How do you get it wrong? By accident. Okay, so Aditya K has a streak with eight correct answers in a row. Good job. I think by mistake, I repeated the question two times. One can attain the stage of pure devotional service by... Okay, what kind of question is this? Okay, what kind of question? All the answers correct. Is this yeah, is but what is the answer the that we discussed in the slide, the last slide? By imitating a pure... Oh. Um, yes, it's correct for me. By following the regulated principles, not by imitating. <laughs> not by yeah. meditating. Not by thinking is a pure devotee. Okay, <laughs> that's great. The scoreboard remains the same. Good job, Adityas. Both Adityas are in the first and the second place. Followed by Prahalad, Smiley and Varun. Okay, the next question... <laughs> The last question, Adveshta means blank and Maitra means blank. Um, 
see the order properly. It is non-envious and friendly. <laughs> yes, you're right. Advesha, Dvesha is enviousness, non-envious. And Maitra comes from the word Mitra. Means friendly. Okay, let's see. Who's in the third place? Vinar Prey is in the third place. Aditya K is in the second place. Aditya, Aditya R is the first place. Aditya Raji is the first place. Runner ups are Smiley and Varun the carrot. Who is the Smiley, by the way? Who is the Smiley? Don't know. Oh, don't know. Okay. Okay, so I think it's getting late today, so we will end here. It was me, Mataji. Who was that? Shreya. Shreya, good job, Shreya. You did a good job. Okay. So thank you very much, everyone. Do anyone has any questions? No. Okay, thank you for joining Lakshmi Priya. Please join next week also. And we have a Govinda class where there is cooking and many craft activities also. Nice to have you here. Hare Krishna, Lakshmi Priya. Did you got the information from the orange poster that we shared in the groups? Um, yes, ma'am. I think your parents contacted me through WhatsApp, I guess. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, Why because we shared we shared this orange poster uh, in the group, right, Matiji, in the Bhakti Sangha main group. Then yeah. they got all the information. Once in a while, I share. Then new people come from there. Oh, I think we, Lakshmi Priya is from India, right? No, Matiji, I live in Canada. Oh, oh Canada. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, Missy Saga. Okay, are you are you the daughter of? Yes, I am. Okay, Sachi Mata, Mataji, right? Yes. Oh, very nice to see. Have you here, Lakshmi Priya? Thank you for joining. Okay, thank you, Vinita Mataji, for arranging everything, for being there for the kids all day long. Hare Krishna. Anyone has any questions? No. Okay, so then let's all try and follow this. Krishna doesn't have a small standard. He has a very high class standard to be dear to Krishna. So we'll pray to Krishna. We'll follow the regulative principles with determination. And one day we will all become dear to Krishna. Okay? Thank you all very much. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Srila Prabhupada ki jai.